The deadly police shooting, the bride to be, the wedding a month away, was shot and killed by police after she had just called 911 for help. It happened in Minneapolis. Justine Damon had called reporting a possible assault in the alley behind her home. Two officers responding when she reportedly approached the car, the officer in the passenger side of the patrol car opened fire. And tonight we've learned their body cameras were not on. ABC's Lindsay Davis is in Minneapolis leading us off. Tonight, a Minnesota man is demanding to know why his fiance was shot and killed by police after her call to 911 for help. The death of Justine is a loss to everyone who knew her. She touched so many people with her loving and generous heart. Justine Damon was originally from Australia, a yoga and meditation teacher seen here recently talking about her spiritual journey. Um, I'm originally from Sydney, Australia, and we have a beautiful tradition there. She was getting married next month, but late Saturday night, she called police to report a possible assault in the alley behind her home. It was dark. Damon exited out of her house into this alleyway and then walked toward the street to meet the officers who were in their squad car responding to her 911 call. The Minneapolis Star Tribune reports Damon in pajamas approached the driver's side. According to the Tribune, the officer in the passenger seat then opened fire through the driver's side door. Shots fired. Can we get EMS code 3 Washburn and 51st Street? Got one down. Damon's future stepson is outraged. My mom is dead because the police officer shot her for reasons I don't know. Both officers are on administrative leave. The police chief is calling for a transparent and independent investigation, saying, I understand why so many people have so many questions at this point. I am heartsick and deeply disturbed. I have a lot of questions about why the body cameras weren't on. The city rolled out body cams last year after calls for transparency following the fatal shooting of Philando Castile in nearby St. Anthony. That officer was acquitted in the shooting that was captured only on dash cam. But in this case, no body cams were rolling, and the dash cam didn't capture the incident. Tonight, a father and son leaning on each other. We've lost the dearest of people, and we're desperate for information. And Lindsay Davis joins us live from Minneapolis tonight. And Lindsay, many questioning why those body cameras were not activated. Certainly, that is a big question tonight. Why weren't those body cameras on? It's very clear in the Minneapolis Police Department policy that those cameras should be turned on prior to any search, any use of force, and any contact with a citizen. David. Lindsay Davis leading us off tonight. Lindsay, thank you.